Knights in their quadruple quest as this evening Mamalodi Sundowns to battle with their cross-town rivals University of Pretoria in the quarterfinals of the Netbank Cup. So a very warm welcome to the Lucas Maripe Stadium. This is a home game in name only for Amatux, the Varsity rugby team competing in the Varsity Shield earlier today where they got the better of Madibas by a fairly healthy scoreline to stay top of that log. So that's why our venue tonight is a familiar home. That particular mark you mentioned as Tux gets a very early opportunity here to break the deadlock. Uh, as far as all competitions go, it's been 19 matches since that loss to Tipi Mazembe. This will be a big weapon for Tux today, the long throw. The long throw will be key. The far post and the positioning of the players in the box will also be key. A, a great opportunity on that far post for Abrams to be able to get on target. Obas. Took it so nicely and he's been able to make serious progress here as it slipped through nicely. Pushed out a, a little wide was Zwane. Here's Morena. Played it across goal rather than attempting to squeeze it in. He better will get an opportunity. Oh, and he's bent it into the top corner with that absolute wonder of a left foot that he possesses. Educated left foot. Patient. Waits for the defender to commit to be able to unleash that unstoppable left footer. Coach Rolani will be happy about this one. Goal number 15 in all competition. Look at Tembazwani, composure, that back heel, finds Morena. They clear the first phase, second phase goes to Ribeiro. Excellent touch. As soon as he turns, he has already scanned, he knows where the goalkeeper is. Well taken, Mamilori Sundowns take the lead. Mm, glorious goal to put the Brazilians ahead. Outswinging delivery played in and turned just wide. Is that ball into the near post? The target is Kekanya and also Mvala. Good tracking coming from Tux in that moment. It's Gam that threats him all the way in that near post. Good, good, um, good aerial leap to be able to get the header. They're looking for another here, Sundance. Big opportunity for Miami. Pulls another save out of Mayova. Tux Stadium not available today because of a, a rugby match. So rather unfortunately, they come to the stomping ground of Mamelodi Sundowns. Mamelodi Sundowns build again. How long can Tux press the way that they are pressing and be aggressive like this? Mm, Williams caught on the ball. You have to be a very fit team to be able to press for 30 minutes the way that Tux have been doing. Mbala uh, uh, being pressed, is feeling the pressure. They pass on the pressure to uh, William, but again, Abrams continues. That's a good attitude, that's good work ethic. They're doing it as a group, they're doing it consistently so that is Tux. The way Mamilori Sundowns are, are keeping a high line, they don't want to defend, they don't want to head uh, that ball that is flighted into the box. They'll rather keep it a high line like this because they don't want to be in a competition to hit the ball. And in response, Tux lifted over the top and it has been turned in. Brilliantly worked set piece. And Delano Abrams gets another Netbank Cup goal. Goal number five in all competitions for Tux. He wins the foul for Tux. The ball is flighted into the far post and you can see it from the training ground. You play the ball to the far post and then you bring it back and then you, they react the quickest. They did not want a, a delightful ball by Julius. It's dropped into that central area and Abrams reacts the quickest, puts it in the back of the net. Mvala beaten in the air, you don't see that a lot, Grant. Not at all. Brilliantly works. Lovely ball over the top from the former Sundowns man, Samuel Julius. Four-man wall assembled. Three Sundowns players confer. 
Quena has been the most deliberate in measuring out his run up and it is him who takes a oh, hole and he's hit the target and Maiova has had to fly across goal to get a glove on that. A wonderful save has potentially come at the expense of uh, a match ending injury. He looks fairly stricken on the turf at the moment. He just he just missed it. I thought he collided with the upright in that instance. But he puts his body on the line. Good feet movement. Good uh, uh, reflex save. Well taken by uh, Mokoena. Maybe let a little bit of power. It gave the goalkeeper an yeah. opportunity to get there. Prior to losing to Stellenbosch in last season's quarterfinals, Sundowns had won in their four previous appearances at this stage in the Ned Bank Cup. Since the eternal loss to Pirates in 2015-16. They've only ever lost quarterfinal matches in successive years. Uh, once before, 2013, uh, 2-1 win at the 2-1 loss at home uh, against Platinum Stars and then the following season uh, by the same scoreline to Orlando Pirates. You would love to avoid back-to-back -back exits at this stage once again. Tux for only the second time this season playing away from the Tux Stadium when at home. The other instance uh, was a little earlier in this campaign at the Giants Stadium uh, against Pretoria Kellys. And they picked up a, a late win in early October. And the handbags are out fairly early into proceedings here in the second half. Tux did come into this match uh, with four clean sheets in their last six outings in all competitions and just two goals conceded. Their streak is a, a really incredible one uh, of 16 games without defeat. Their last loss coming in early November against Uppington City. Their club record actually stands at 22 successive games without defeats across two different seasons, though. As Timberswani finds Hibero. Trying to work the space. Find a teammate in a promising area. Allende returns it to him. Picked up by Mayema. Mokwena. Now Allende and Hibero has misplaced his header. The discipline, the shape, but in the last moment, Majidi Bulu gives him space, Island. He does not go to Island to take away space and time. He stands off. That's why he's able to find that cross to find Ribeiro, unlucky not to get on target. So Tux looking to make a change here. Atungosi Tonisi is the man that uh, will be coming onto the park. And Bambi exits. So it's the first change made by uh, tonight's hosts. Bringing on uh, a man who hasn't enjoyed all too much. Game time this season, uh, Tonisi. But what he does contribute is yet more aerial presence for Amatux. Put right on top of Williams and he has no problems dealing with that. He like uh, Every other player in white out there today has put in a massive shift. Had to do a lot of work without the ball. Seen precious little of it. And still 
They have restricted Mamelodi Sundowns to just that eight minute goal from Ribeiro. Here they have another opportunity though, the Brazilians, Mokwena, fed it out wide for Serino with the, an ineffective cross. But with the tight turnaround time, Pumutzoa, uh, the game, the rescheduled game against Swallows brought a day earlier to Monday. They really will want to avoid uh, additional 30 minutes. And here is Mokwena. Oh, well, the pass accurate enough. Zwane can't control. I wouldn't say Zwane couldn't control. I would say a very firm pass coming from Mokwena. Uh, Zwane is running at such high speed. Now, oh, look at this. Samuel Julies and Abrams. Fierce shot straight down the throat of Ronwin Williams, mercifully for the Sundowns goalkeeper. Abrams has been a thorn all evening. He doesn't stop running. Tonisi also comes into this uh, team. He harasses. Julius drives forward. The ball drops kindly. Mm. He puts his laces through this ball. But good positioning, good handling from uh, Ronan Williams. But his defense is there to assist him. Mamelodi Sundowns got a consolation uh, in Sundowns home game in Texas final season or last season in the top flight. Game in which Kamar Biliat and uh, Castro had both scored. Biliat after Lafour, who has six, has three goals against Tux during his time again, uh, with Mamelodi Sundowns. Oh, that's good. Here's Mabena, shifts inside, puts it wide. Going for the lace, I thought he could have gone for the instep, uh, just go for placement. Excellent ball by Mukwena to be able to find Peter Shalulile. Excellent hold-up play. He cuts inside onto his stronger foot. He's going for the laces. I thought, go for the Keller, young man. But not a bad idea. You can see, you can see what he wants to do. Unlucky not to get on target. I end it for... Oh! Well, it fell for the sniper, but Peter Shalulile didn't have his crosshairs correctly positioned this time. You have to admire the run. You have to admire him meeting the ball at the highest point on that near post. That's the class of Peter Shalunile. This should be the last moment of the 19. He will be proud of the boys. That is Coach Mutawo. Pena stretching, but just wants to make sure that Mamelodi Sundowns maintain control of the ball. All 21 players are in the half of tax. Mamelodi Sundowns needs to watch out for the space they are leaving in behind. If tax are able to find that ball for the for the runners, uh, the likes of Julius uh, and Donisi, the men that has just come on, but good discipline. Um, I'm impressed by the conditioning of the tax players. Really very good. Uh, the strength and conditioning team needs to be given credit from tax. Launched towards Peter Shalulile. Laid off for Hibero. He'll get another bite here. Oh, and he chooses to set it for McQuena on the edge of the area. He shot cracked just off target. By a huge deflection, though. Initial attempt would have been hitting the target. The stadium buzzes. Yeah. Rabena up against Abrams. Finds Chibero. Ends up at the feet here of Gaston Serino. Obas. Oh, he has a go. And Maoba gets a glove on that bending effort. I think it swerved viciously in the air. Allende. Serino. Hibero. Oh. Taken off the toes of Gaston Serino.
Kavizu Mugwene just came off the, off the bench as one of the subs. Uh, Rivera has got space and time. Finds Serino. An important, important touch. A game-changing tackle by uh, Taviso Mugwena. Mugwena, Zumbala. Very little margin for error from a Sundowns perspective, considering how high their players are pushed up as Shalalile is able to turn his man, gets the shot off, gets the corner. Excellent pass. Excellent pass from Mumbala. Look at that hold-up play. He spins his defender, Shalalile. Great save from Maova. Excellent save. We are looking at the last 45 seconds of the game. Now Maseko, an opportunity to use his fresh legs. Still he continues on. Maseko blasted it over. Good pace, good skill. Now you need to slow yourself down. Then you can get the ball on target. He's doing everything at the same pace and that's why the ball goes high. He's leaning back also. Ron Williams, so look to launch it. One minute of additional time. At the end of extra time, Shalilile with the flick. Launch with the turn! No! So close to winning it for Mamelodi Sundowns. The man who starred as they came through their round of 16 obligation has turned it wide. Good ball coming from Ronan Williams. Peter Shalulile imported with the flick. Good first touch to spin the defender. He has got one thing that is left here because Lord. He has done everything right. Turn the defender. He has to hit target. He does not hit the target. His coach does not believe. He says with the quality that in December though in the preliminary round of this competition. Mukwena sets the tone. Emphatically struck past the best gloveman in the land. Marcelo Yende. It's come of age in Sundown's colours. Such an important part of this team. Great penalty. Myoba went the right way, but it was too far out of reach. Williams does what Williams does. Not the best penalty. He missed in the KF quarterfinals. a moment for Serino and an opportunity to consolidate their advantage and he's denied it's back even and Petty can't get it right the long time servant of the University of Pretoria Football Club hasn't given Williams nearly enough to think about Now can Hibero put Sundowns ahead for the first time. He can indeed. Advantage in the shootouts. 2-1 after three kicks apiece. With Majadi Boru. It's the former Sundowns man. Came up through their development ranks. Won the Disky Challenge with Mamalodi Sundowns. Up against Ronwin Williams. And he has stuck it away. That's a good pin. This will be anything but delicate. Oh! <laughs> well, he's fooled me. And he's fooled my over. My over standing stance says to me he's flat footed. 
for this Delano Abrams penalty to stay alive in the shootout. The man who gave them life during regulation time squares up to Williams. Abrams sticks it away and it will come down to a fifth Sundowns kick. Shalulile to send Sundowns into the semi-finals and he does just that. The Sundowano are through the first team into the last four of this season's Nedbank Cup. It was touch and go, but they get the job done. Not in the way that many would have anticipated. And you've got to give it up for Tux and Maiova for the effort that they showed, the grit displayed here at the Lucas Moripe Stadium.